Hi, hi. Hi, good bitch. Did you talk to them? No, but uh, I, once I got her, uh, they just started moving. So I think okay, looks promising. Yeah. How big of a boat is it? Because there's a lot of cars and trucks. Yeah, it's not that big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, fingers crossed, eh? Yeah, buddy. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, good man. Thank you. Going to Lufuten, huh? Sorry. You going to Lufuten? Yeah, yeah. Nice. You're going to Muskin. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Muskin. Yeah, yeah. Have you booked your? Uh, I haven't. Have you? No. No, me neither. Okay. But uh, hopefully, it should be okay. Can I go? Hello, Jan. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. I'll follow you. Let's go. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel and episode four of my Cafe Racer Adventure Series in Norway. And we have just arrived at the Lofoten Islands. There was a crossing from Buda um, to a place called Huskenes. The three and a half hours crossing, and now we are going to a place called Oa, so by the Norwegian letter Oa, just just an A with a dot on top. And I am with my friend Anders right in front of me with his uh, camper he's going to uh, stay with me tonight and discover Lufuten Islands a little bit I've hoped you've been uh, enjoying the journey so far and watching these episodes I've been having a lot of fun this has definitely been a trip I've been looking forward to for a very long time and it's been amazing so far Lufuten Islands from the pictures and the videos I've seen looks like an amazing place to, to see and discover very dramatic sceneries these tiny islands connected with these small bridges so I really can't wait to start driving around discovering the area another beautiful day I've been really lucky so far with the weather on this trip I think I've had one day of uh, rain all day and the rest has been pretty much dry for the most of uh, for the most of it and today is another example
What a stunning place. How sick is this? My God. Wow. This is some of the most You see the pictures and videos, yeah. but you don't actually feel it There's something until you're like life. actually looking at it. My God. I think this place would be incredible in the winter. Yeah, it probably is. With the snow covered tops and everything. When I come to visit you in the winter, yeah. we'll have to come uh, back here again. I'll take you skiing in one of these tops. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Hello there, good afternoon. So last night we spent the night at this uh, beautiful camp spot by the beach. Uh, near, a, near a town called Unstad. And now we are going to travel about an hour further up. Um, and just to discover Lufthansa Islands a little bit. My friend Anders uh, is heading back home later on today. So he'll be with me for a few more hours. I haven't quite decided where I'm staying tonight. So I need to figure that out. It's not going to be a big day of riding. It's already um, past one o'clock in the afternoon. So today is going to be a nice and easy day in terms of riding. And it's so windy today. Mm. 
we had a, an amazing night last night. It was really nice to have the beautiful view of the ocean. And I had a little bit of a uh, trouble with the with the exhaust on the bike. Um, I think what happened is uh, I noticed the smell of uh, sort of fume much more than it normally is um, and then the exhaust manifold was uh, slightly loose I think with the vibration and everything it has just loosened itself up over time so I had to undo a few things and push it all the way and now we should be all good to go and look at this amazing view we have about just a just short of an hour of driving to do and we're actually hoping to check out this uh, outdoor sauna place so that should be that should be fun we also saw this uh, German couple on a really cool uh, sort of an overlander Toyota Hilux with their removable uh, back cabin that looked really cool and they were planning some some traveling I think they were going to be on the road for a few months I think they spot the bike came over to say hello and take a photo of the bike and then uh, we had a nice chat so yeah, Unstad is where we spend the night. Beautiful camp spot. And a big surfing spot as well. I think today Anders was hoping to do some surfing but the wind was blowing in the wrong direction. So he couldn't do any surfing. And I haven't... Uh, I actually haven't tried surfing before, I would love to give her a try. their hof, it's called mm. hof, um, and we have um, booked that sauna just over there at uh, four o'clock it is currently just about three so we have an hour uh, so the plan is to 
go and take a swim in the ocean and then run to the sauna. Uh, really excited about this. Are you excited, Anders? Your buddy. He's gonna grab some bacon and eggs first. Yes. We still have some uh, time before the sauna is uh, ours. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Yes. Gonna Very excited. Good. And it's a beautiful spot. Really windy day. Uh, I mean, I was thinking about to to fly the drone, but uh, I don't know. Okay, that was one of the best sauna experiences of my life. It was awesome to, to be able to go for a swim in the ocean and then run into the sauna. Amazing. So my friend is away now to catch the boat back to Buddha and I have uh, booked a guest house for the night which is just over 100 kilometers away from here. So it should be just less than uh, an hour and 45 minutes and it is getting quite windy so I'm gonna take it nice and easy and the good thing is I'm, uh, I'm nice and warm now after that sauna experience so uh, should be a nice little short drive to my cabin for the night. It was a beautiful campsite there. I think they were doing uh, horse riding lessons and also like tours um, on the beach. Um, looks really fun
Hi, hi. Thank you, thank you. I uh, called earlier for a yes. cabin. I have arrived at my cabin for the night, a place called Gulesfjord uh, Camping and I've just made myself a cup of tea to warm up a little bit um, because the temperature is uh, dropping and I need, you can feel I'm um, getting close to the North Cape. Uh, not a brilliant day of riding, uh, I've been really enjoying Lofoten Island, it was amazing with the sauna and uh, the swim and the past couple hours of riding has been really nice so i'm going to relax cook myself some eggs i uh, have some eggs and avocado to cook have some food relax for the evening uh, i've hoped you enjoyed watching this video i'll see you very soon in the next one to carry on my journey all the way to the north cape bye